alaikum guys today i will be teaching you the introduction to electrical transient analyzer program through etap 6.0 software the components of one line diagram we are using here are three generators four transformers three static loads three induction motors six ac buses and transmission line this is what you can see the final output of our tutorial today so let's start over on the uh, right side of the right side of the canvas <coughs> on the right side of this etap software you can see the toolbars and when you uh, take the mouse over any of the tool on mouse over it will show what exactly the icon denotes so let's start by putting three generators click the icon and then I click here or I just drag and drop the icon over here three generators are here then uh, we will use three transformers uh, we will use two winding transformers and we will use IC symbols for them So uh, right click the transformer, symbol, go to symbols and then select IEC. Do the same with all the three transformers we have selected here. Then we are going to put our buses. Three buses over here. Two buses over here. Okay, it's fine. Then DC load and uh, induction motor. Here goes the DC load and uh, here is the induction motor. Click the bus icon and move uh, towards the right end of it. Uh, it's right end and then you will see the move of the cursor. I can and make it longer. Here it goes. Do the same with the other buses wherever you require to make the length a little bit larger. Uh, now uh, take the, your mouse over over the icon of the of the IEC symbol of generator and you will see a pink scare box appearing there. When that scare pink box appears just click and drag it towards the bus you will see the bus goes pink when you will come over it and then leave the mouse it will connect it to it uh, it will connect the generator to the line the bus do the same with all other components Yes, we are done with half of the image. So here is a little tip. If you want to, uh, we are going to put these two icons over here. I will just select them. I will press Control C to copy and then Control V to paste and they will get replicated over here. Then I will drag them towards this bus 14 and connect them to the specific bus I just mentioned and connecting the transformer 7 over here and uh, then to the bus 11 and then generate the bus similarly we will do the uh, all the process over here <coughs> buses on transmission line uh, transformer to and okay drag the bus here click it right click it and then rotate to 90 angle move this text low because we are going to change the dimension so it must not 
overlap our line transmission line then we will introduce the transmission line from this tool we will use the IC symbol we will rotate it to 90 degrees and then we will connect it another bus over here similar procedure rotate it to 90 angle take these texts so below the line and connect it to the transmission line you can beautify the circle I'm just making a rough sketch in this tutorial after this transmission line we have a transformer to wind transformer over here make it symbol to be an IC symbol rotate it to 90 degrees and connect it to the bus then after it we have the similar procedure like this one and we will copy it and then paste it and we will move it here here you go we are almost done with our visual image now let's set the parameters to these uh, components we have just devised let's start with the generator 4 double click it I'm not talking uh, right now I'm talking about the left click just double click it go into the rating tab just set it to something like 100 and KV to like 6.3 and press OK. One thing I, uh, I forgot, double click it. After rating, go to the grounding model. We are going to ground it with Y uh, configuration and we will show the symbol visually on this canvas by clicking this symbol icon, uh, symbol radio button. Here it goes. Similarly, double click the transformer 6 go to the rating uh, let's set it to 6.3 primary and secondary to 0.415 make its MVA to uh, 50 MVA and then grounding make it both Y and show the symbols here it goes keep arranging them static load over here 10 MVA load we are going to introduce 10 MVA just press ok and then we will set the parameters of our induction motor go to the name plate select 500 just like uh, just write here 500 here and press ok <coughs> Now comes the generator 5. Let's make it 100 MW and then 6.3 KV. Grounding must be visible. Then transform 7. 6.3 primary with 0.38. This, uh, these values are just custom values I am just inputting them here you can use any values of your own custom demand here. and make it 10 MV I'm making it I forgot from grounding tab make both of them to Y and then show us in both let's double click this DC static load Its rating must be 2 MVA, something around it, and grounded. Then this motor, go to the nameplate tab for 200 HP. Yes, here is a uh, bit tricky to find. If you, it asks for typical nameplate data, select any C standard, and it 
all goes away. Afterwards, the last loop over here of transmission line, the generator will be set to the mega of 200 kilowatt to 11. I guess I can take it to 11 and then show the grounding symbols. Then the transformer 8 is rating must be something around 6.3 for primary growth and then 132 for secondary and making it 50 MV so grounding must be visible making Y and secondary uh, and uh, let's make it a delta on secondary After it, uh, I'll, uh, after it, let's move towards the last transformer here and uh, we will rate it like something around uh, 132 kV and secondary must be like uh, around 11 kV put at 26 MV and I will show the grounding over here Make a second move in Delta. Here it goes. The last load loading must be like um, 12 MV. And the last motor name place. Let's make it 100 horsepower. Again, asking about the standard, and we are expecting anything in the interest is okay. And here it is, we are completed with our diagram of the circle we were talking about. See ya! Allow for